Oh, hello. I guess show you what we've been up to for part of the summer. Oh, uh, we've got one end of our barn, or one side. Um, I really won't put much down this side because we got the roasted beans, furnace, we need to get that in the put in the basement for winter, greenhouse dirt, and still a little bit of urea. Um, not to mention this side of the barn over here. This was an old hog farrowing barn at one point. But there was a barn next to it on the outside, and there was an odd lip of concrete that extends beyond the post there about a foot and a half, and it'll collect water and it'll run back in. So not worried about getting hay all the way to that wall because it'll get wet without putting out a bunch of pallets, plus we've got all this stuff. So, hay. That side says about a third, and we have the barn about two-thirds full of hay eventually. Now Brad's out raking. And um, I'm gonna kill some energy myself. Um, we got a wagon load of hay to unload here. We probably have enough wagons, but I just don't want to run out. I hate when we get to the end of the field, it's getting dark, and you need room for 20 bales. And you're out there picking them up, throwing them in the truck, whatever. Unfortunately, there's uh, 140 or so bales on here. I believe. Rough guess. Quickly in my head. Now I can only stack wagons five high and typically we'll pull them in from the end where you saw the hay wagon. It's, we stacked this one six high. I can't get it in but we're also we have this side of the barn stacked almost to the end. It's just as easy to pull it up and throw them in. I'm gonna love myself figuring out how to get the TC out of here eventually. And then I'll have to throw a tarp from here down because um, we will get a little bit of weather coming in from the northwest at some time. Unless we empty the hay out of this end of the barn that fast. Which would be great. Not to say I doubt it. But I gotta be realistic sometimes. Whew. Now sometimes I wonder, if anybody wonders, we never got this question, if somebody hasn't asked me, why don't I bale hay with long pants on? It's too hot. But I'm also typically, I try to remember to plan to have an extra pair of long shorts ready. Um, like when I'm going to bale on hay one week, to save those for those days where we'll be bailing hay. I can't stand wearing jeans in the summer. I get I don't know, too hot and sweaty. I get sweaty enough doing this. If I have some airflow. Yeah, it's fun stacking in here, tight quarters with the post, trying to stack around the post and whatnot. Yeah. It's really slow when you're doing it by yourself. But I had to get a move on. Hey, today's been a busy day. A very busy day, actually. We've picked corn twice. Once for market and again for market. Because we ran out three hours before the market stopped. So uh, don't want to turn too many people away telling them we don't have hay or anything. pick it and run it up there. But I guess it's a good thing to be running out. And I need a really, really short bale for this spot. 
This whole end will kind of end up being stair stepped. Well, there's bunches of stacking. I don't know if you guys want to watch me work. I don't know if I have much to yammer on about that I can think of. Hmm. I need a short bail. I don't know if that's short enough. Oh, hey guys, nice and close up. I'm trying to jam a bale here in the corner with that post. Close enough. Okay. Now, we had a bit of an issue while raking this field that the hay came from. Let's see if I can find any. Not on this bale. On the bottom. Nope. Of course, I saw a piece go by in the last bale. There's a small chunk of it. Here it is. See that? That's moss. That was growing on the ground. Now, we only have that in the hay because the rake settled. We got the two twist handles on the front of the rake. And we keep them well greased. And just after bumping, they worked their way down, and the one side of the rake was digging into the ground something fierce. Got a bunch of rake tines to replace. So we got a string on the rake now to stop that from happening. Tie the handles together, and then hopefully the rake won't fall down. Well, this is going to take forever. You guys get the idea. I'll show you when I'm done. Goodbye. We made like uh, 270 something ish. Yeah, there's a, a little section over there to go. Leave the baler here and we're gonna hit the road and see how much fun we have with the 29 pulling 270 bales of hay down the road. It's only two miles, so it'll be fine, I hope. Yeehaw.